Asmodeus is a demon of the First Order, referred to as the King of Demons, Prince of Demons, or King of the Earthly Spirits. He is one of the seven princes of hell, each of whom were assigned responsibility for one of the seven deadly sins. Asmodeus is the demon of lust. His primary objective is to disrupt the intimate relationship of married couples. He does this by interfering in the consummation of a marriage on the wedding night, or by enticing husbands and wives to be unfaithful to each other. Most scholars agree that Asmodeus has his origins in Zoroastrianism, the ancient religion of Persia, modern-day Iran. There's no one called Asmodeus in Zoroastrianism, but in the ancient Indo-Iranian language, Avestan, Aheshma means wrath, and Deva means demon. Though the compound name Aeshma Deva is not found in the sacred text, there is a demon of wrath, Deva Aeshma, who might have later morphed into Asmodeus in Jewish texts. There is a lot of evidence that Persian culture influenced Judaism, and this could be one such link. So what does Asmodeus look like? According to Jacques Collin de Plancy, who wrote the Dictionnaire Infernal, a compendium on all things diabolical, Asmodeus has three heads, that of a sheep, bull, and a man. He has a hooked nose, pointy ears and teeth, and fire coming from his mouth. His torso is also that of a man, but below the waist, he has the feathered legs and feet of a rooster. Along with his unusual appearance, Asmodeus rides a lion with the wings and neck of a dragon. The Archbishop of Paris at the time approved the drawing, so this became the widely accepted version of what Asmodeus the demon looked like. Where de Plancy received his inspiration from is not known. In later years, Asmodeus began to be depicted by writers and artists in a less intense way. His behavior and appearance underwent some changes, making him something of a good-natured mischievous instigator. He is also depicted as a demon of gambling as well as of lust. In these later versions, Asmodeus' human face is pleasant to look at and he is well-dressed, hiding his feathered leg and dragon's tail. He uses a walking stick to distract from the limp caused by his clawed foot. He also becomes much less antagonistic and not as hell-bent upon destroying marriages. In this way, Asmodeus loses much of what made him a frightening demon. Asmodeus does not appear in any of the canonical books of the Hebrew Bible, but figures prominently in several extra-canonical texts such as the Book of Tobit and the Testament of Solomon. He is the primary antagonist in the Book of Tobit, a deuterocanonical text written near the turn of the 2nd century BCE. In this Jewish text, Asmodeus falls in love with a woman called Sarah. He has thwarted her marriage to seven different suitors by killing each groom on their wedding night before they can consummate the marriage. Tobias, the son of Tobit, pursues Sarah and finally wins her by fighting off Asmodeus with the help of the angel Raphael. Other references to Asmodeus come in the Talmud and the Testament of Solomon. Here, Asmodeus plays a role in the building of Solomon's temple. In one legend, he has been tricked by Solomon to aid in the construction of the temple. In other related stories, he falls for Solomon's wife. In another narrative, Solomon invokes the aid of Asmodeus in the building of the temple. During the course of their work, Asmodeus predicts that Solomon's kingdom will be divided among his sons. The legend of Solomon and Asmodeus does appear in Islamic culture as well. As with many other points of Jewish history, there is carryover into Islamic history and belief. In the Islamic version of the story, Asmodeus is known as Sar, which translates to rock. This is a reference to his fate after being defeated by Solomon. The demon is clapped in iron and imprisoned in a box of rocks, which is then cast into the sea. In Christianity, Asmodeus is a demon of lust and greed. Gregory the Great, the Roman Pope from 590 to 604 CE, claimed that Asmodeus was one of the top-ranking angels until he fell with Satan and the other angels who disobeyed God. Asmodeus appears later in several well-known compendiums of witchcraft and demonology, the Malleus Maleficarum describes him as the demon of lust. In 1612, French inquisitor Sebastian Michaelis agreed with this description, including Asmodeus in his classification of demons. According to other sources of the high medieval period, Asmodeus's power was greatest during the month of November, or during the zodiac sign of Aquarius. He is considered one of the kings of hell, just below Lucifer, and sometimes connected with Abaddon. 
Asmodeus has largely disappeared from cultural references, perhaps due to the softening he underwent over the last few centuries. He appears as a recurring character in season 13 of the television series Supernatural. He features prominently in the role-playing game Dungeons & Dragons, having the same role as the King of the Nine Hells in each iteration of the game. Asmodeus is a demon whose influence has faded over time. While most people would have known and feared the Demon of Lust with his horrific appearance during much of Western civilization, today we hardly recognize his name. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to our channel. It helps us grow so we can continue creating more content like this. Thanks for watching.